files. Okay, great. So we have our saved file in our project ready to go. The first thing we want to be doing is looking at setting up a joint structure. Okay, so I'm going to hit spacebar and to bring us into our multi-view mode and going to go into the side view. Now, here I'm going to turn on shaded mode and also hit this toggle here, which is X-ray joints. That just means that once we start placing joints, even though it'll be behind the mesh, we'll still be able to see them. So turn that on. I'm going to go here in my animation tab to my joint tool. And I'm going to start by just creating a base joint, which is going to be the highest in the hierarchy. Um, and I'm just going to place it there. The next, I'm going to be placing a hip joint, which will go about there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually turn on uh, my uh, wireframe on shaded so that I can actually see the different edges of the boxes of the Boxosaurus. So I'm going to create a joint here, and a joint here, just creating the back and uh, also keeping in line with the geometry so that I've got one joint per piece of geometry. I'm going to make another joint here, here, and then I'll start working up the neck. And I'm just clicking and holding down if I want to adjust the area. Uh, and then I'll make a joint at the base of the head and then right to the nose. Hit Enter to finalize that joint chain, and we're going to hit G to bring up the joint tool again, and we'll start with the tail now. So we can click on this joint to uh, reconnect back up to this joint chain, and then click and drag, and we'll do the same as what we were just before, and just go right to the end of the tail. And I'm just making one joint per piece of geometry. the end and click enter. Okay, so that's our basic spine set up. Uh, now what we need to be working on is getting the legs, arms, oh actually I'm going to uh, hit G again, come over to the head joint and we're just going to create the jaw structure here. Hit enter. Now we're going to be moving on to the arms and legs, so I'm going to Hit G again. I'm going to click here at the shoulder area, but because I need to place joints inside the arm, I'm actually going to go to my front view, turn on shaded mode, turn on X-ray joints, and place a joint that's further out towards the arm. And now when I go back to my side view, I can start placing all the joints, uh, so I'll Put a shoulder joint in there, elbow, wrist, and I'm just going to zoom in so that I can see the fingers a little better. And I'm going to be placing uh, for the middle knuckles, so there's those pieces there. Okay, and hit enter to finalize. Now I'm going to do the same sort of procedure with the hips and the legs, so I'll hit G, click on the hips, Go into the side view, drag out on the side, spacebar. Now you'll notice here that the arm isn't actually lined up correctly there, but we'll get to that in a moment. So if we hit spacebar again, come back to our side view, uh, we we'll create the knee joint, ankle, ball of the foot, and then to the foot, and then create the joints for the toes and press enter. Okay, so if we go back to the perspective view and turn on our x-ray joints, we can see that we have a basic joint structure set up here. Now, uh, as mentioned before, these aren't actually lined up as well as they could be, so we're going to adjust that now. Firstly, I'm going to click on the clavicle joint uh, and go into our transforms. I'm just going to pull that back inside a little bit and then to the shoulder, have that line up, and I just need to adjust the hand here a bit. And so now you can see that that nicely lines up uh, with the 
structure of the body that we have at the moment. And I'm also going to tweak the legs a little bit. OK, great. Now, if we look at our joints, we notice that we've got these little uh, pivot locations here that show us which direction the joints are facing and gives us a little indication on uh, where the rotation axis is. Now, because we've just offset a couple of these, they're not going to be lined up exactly right. So, after setting up your joints and getting everything into the right place, what you can do is come up here and click our orient joints. And now, uh, because we didn't do a lot of major changes, we didn't see much of a difference in result, but th that will just make sure that the joints are lined up correctly. And we can go through and double check that. Notice that our Z is the main axis that we want to be rotating on, which is all working fine. OK, so these are all our joints set up. What we need to do now is make sure that we have everything named. So we're going to start off with the root joint here. And then by pressing the down arrow key, I can navigate directly towards the next in line in the hierarchy. I'll click in here. And I can name this as hip. Enter, hit down, and I'll name these as back 01. Now I'm going to go through and name the rest of these files and just show you uh, what I've done, because this might take a little time and it's probably a little boring to watch. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.